Ten Minutes to Bed, Little Mermaid by Rhiannon Fielding and Chris Chatterton Deep below the ocean waves, among the wild sea flowers, a palace stood with shells for walls and shining pearls for towers. In the kingdom of mere people, mere children whizzed around. With ten minutes to bedtime, though, someone could not be found. Splash was with the dolphins. They were diving, playing, leaping. Nine minutes came her grandpa's call. Splash did not feel like sleeping. She wished she wasn't quite so small. She wanted to be brave. So with eight minutes to bedtime, Splash dived deep beneath a wave. The soft and sandy ocean floor was bumping with a beat. Seven minutes, called the crabs, as they clapped their claws and feet. Through the water swiftly swam a shoal of rainbow fish. Six minutes to bed, they said as one. Come with us if you wish. As Splash's little tail grew tired, the fish all swam away. Five minutes, croaked a turtle as they bobbed around the bay. Suddenly, a shadow slunk across the ocean floor. Four minutes to bed and up Splash leapt. The shark opened its jaw. But with a plop, Splash landed on a golden island beach. Three minutes, laughed a passing whale. Hop on if you can reach. Zooming through the ocean as the spray fell down in showers, with two minutes to bedtime, Splash could see the palace towers. Thank you, said the mermaid as she kissed her whale friend's head. One minute, called her grandpa's voice. Then Splash swam into bed. This daring little mermaid has a secret now to keep. Adventure is all very well, but mermaids need their sleep. <laughs>